In 1951, a meteorite, carrying a mysterious DNA, fell to the Earth. The DNA was used to conduct secret experiments on ants and spiders through a military laboratory. However, the facility soon became overrun by the mutated giant ants. They killed all of the soldiers during an outbreak. Meanwhile outside of the base, there are two mining workers planning to steal copper from the facility. Their greed is soon extinguished by the bloodthirsty ants. The two men get killed tragically as they enter a cave. Elsewhere in a nearby town, a mechanic named Brian is obsessed with The Eradicator, the film star of a long-running franchise about bug killing. He fantasizes about being like the hero one day. Just then, his best friend Lucas enters, informing Brian that he just won a big competition. The two teens are both brilliant motocrossers. To celebrate, the friends are heading into the New Mexico desert for a weekend of racing and partying. They're happy in their own little world and ignore the missing person's posters that are popping up around town. They invite Brian's secret crush, Lisa who is clever and brilliant. Along the way, Lucas gives private time to Brian and Lisa. Lucas takes his dirt bike out which has been attached to the back of the car. Lucas and two friends make an incredible race through the desert. The desert party looks like a fantastic time. Lucas and Brian have a drink from a friend who's created a cool homemade alcohol dispenser. During the party, Brian feels too shy to speak to Lisa and has troubles with showing his feelings. Lucas tries to push him to work up the nerve to approach her. However, a guy interrupts Brian just before he can make his move. Disappointed in himself, Brian leaves the crowd and starts to wander away. Later, Lucas joins him attempting to cheer him up. At the edge of the cliff, Brian complains about littering to Lucas, then he finds a secret cave just below. They find the way down and finally get to an abandoned facility. Seeing that the fence is broken, Lucas can't resist the temptation to explore the area, though Brian thinks it is not a good idea to do so. During this time, Lisa ventures out to find the two boys. In the facility, Lucas becomes more curious and begins poking around in some abandoned rooms. Brian becomes timid and repeatedly tells Lucas to head back to the party. As the two enter into a lab room, they find it covered in some web-like texture. Lucas reaches his hand towards what looks like a cocoon on the floor as he notices it is gelatinous and has a disgusting smell. As the two become nauseous, they notice a camera on the ceiling. Suddenly, a loud noise is heard. As they return to the big room, they come across a gigantic ant, which quickly scares them away. The two hide in a kitchen. Right at this time, Lisa makes a phone call to Lucas. The two explain to Lisa what they have seen and ask her to find others to assist them. However, as he begins to explain the way to the facility, his phone runs out of battery. Worried and tense, Lucas and Brian decide to fight back the creature to get out of the base. Unfortunately, a shelf falls down, creating a noise, this draws a monster into the kitchen. The boys hold their breath, attempting to hide from the huge ant. Just then, it leaves as as it finds nothing. The two share a quick joyful moment as Lucas opens a beer. However, the ant again is triggered by a smell. It rushes back into the room chasing the boys. Seeing Lucas is nearly attacked, Brian distracts the creature, luring it to follow him to the front door. He quickly closes the door, hoping to block the ant behind it. However, the mutant ant manages to grab Brian with one of its long legs. Lucas tries to pull Brian back. In the middle of the tension, Lisa comes in to rescue them by stabbing the animal to death with an axe. For now, they realize the gelatinous substance found earlier is actually the blood of ants. This will send the signal to attract other ants. As predicted, more of the mutant creatures gather around the dead ant. The trio flee away and end up in an observatory room, where they find footage from a scientist named Renard. He briefs anyone who watches this video about the secret experiment that's happened in the past. He reveals that the mutant ants require ethanol to mate and to reproduce. The friends must race back to the party, before the ants get loaded on their booze and unleash a wave of terror upon the town. The party, everyone is watching and shouting out to a stripper. A young man runs back to the bar to get some more beer, then notices a beer container being dragged away. He slowly checks on it and finds an oversized ant killing the beer. The man is then smashed in the head, killed by the ant. It turns out the party has drawn the attention of the giant beasts. They quickly invade the racing party goers and attack them. A few escape on their dirt bikes. Others manage to run away in the chaos while a few of them choose to hide in their vehicle, but they can't fight against the onslaught of the oversized ants. When the trio come back to the party, they find that no one has survived. They get into a car and try to get back to town to alert the authority. Suddenly, an ant attacks them from behind. The friends quickly jump on their bikes and ride away. Brian and Lisa share a bike as Lucas rides alone. As Brian is about to jump over a gap, 
Lisa stops him saying it's too dangerous. For the first time, Lisa has a chance to express her true feelings for Brian. It turns out Lisa also has a crush on Brian and no one else as Brian was afraid of. This makes him really happy, but it doesn't last too long. Lisa is then captured by a giant ant. Lucas arrives, giving Brian a ride to find her. They approach a dark cave, eventually leading to the ant's nest. They realize that the ants have wrapped their prey up in the webbing, just like mummies. Brian finally finds Lisa's web and tries to awaken her, but the cocoon appears to be tough and hard to break. Just then, some beasts appear as they see their food is being stolen. A number of gunshots are heard and the ants are killed from a mysterious shooter. They soon realize it is Dr. Renard, who first appears on the video they watched in the military lab. He tells the two friends that to cut open the cocoon, they must use a specialized tool, which is now back at the base. Later, he joins Brian and Lucas to go back to the facility, attempting to rescue their friends as quickly as possible. On the way, Renard gives the boys a map showing a secret defense system. Unfortunately, he is stabbed by a beast before he can give further explanation. Brian and Lucas are terrified and run away. The two decide to dodge and fight back against the mutants as time is running out. Following the map, they learn that the weapon won't fire at an individual, it is only designed to fire at a pack of monsters. They eventually find a secret way to get to the prototype weapons, using a switch designed in the form of a beer. They also explore the tool designed to cut the cocoons and protect themselves with special armor. In the back of the base, they find two dirt bikes, which seemingly match perfectly with their outfits. The two head back to the nest right away. By using the special tool, they cut off the webbing and release their friends, including Lisa. Lucas decides to stay in the cave to rescue others. Brian takes Lisa first, attempting to lure the colony of ants towards the prototype weapons. As expected, the weapons fire at the ants and destroy them all. The couple is satisfied with the plan, thinking that they have eliminated all the beasts. However, the queen ant suddenly appears at the top of the mountain. Brian quickly rides off, avoiding the attack. At the edge of the cliff, Lisa now encourages Brian to jump the gap. With a sweet kid, Brain is able to make it to the other side. As the bike plunges into the canyon, the couple find an abandoned car and decide to flee with it. However, the giant queen manages to hold off the car by releasing her web. Lisa has no choice but to draw the weapon opening fire at the queen. A perfect shot to the head, the beast wails in utter pain and dives off into the cliff. Luckily, Brian and Lisa jump out of the car before it is pulled along with the beast. The queen is then destroyed in the explosion. Lisa and Brian give a long kiss, cementing their win. Meanwhile back in the nest, Lucas has successfully rescued the others. He lights the whole nest on fire, eliminating the beast's eggs. The group returns to the party to celebrate their victory. Unbeknownst to them, the creatures are escaping out of another secret room deep inside the military lab. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this, and to watch movies similar to this one, you should check these recaps.